Wow, women of the world. Wow is a festival because celebration creates optimism. Optimism creates determination and energy, and that makes you feel that anything's possible. This is an exciting event with three, four thousand women. Meeting all these fabulous women, all amazing at what they do, top of their game. It's just a great event to celebrate women. It's so diverse and there's so much going on. The great thing about the Wild Festival is you people from all walks of life come in here and there's a really great vibe. Very welcoming to men as well. It's for anybody who is thinking about the amazing world we would have if gender equality could come about. Raise that awareness and help people understand that women do make a larger contribution than we know of. Now today is our first big day of our Women in the World all around the WOW Festival, you'll hear music, you'll hear stand-up poetry, but you can also take part in lots of things, sport, you can try abseiling. We have the British women weightlifters giving a display. You can roam around the marketplace and look for things to buy and organisations that you might want to join. We're here to represent uh, our organisation. We essentially give a platform for young women to discuss gender issues in Scotland. We have speed mentoring. We have lots of panels that are interactive with the audience, talking about particular themes. We just got back from the food and feminism talk, which I thought was really interesting, that kind of like link between domesticity and women. This morning I've just heard an event including some of Sister Sledge. My sister and I are so honoured that we were asked to be a part of this amazing women of the world. Think-ins with other women and boys and men together. I was doing an In Conversation with Baroness Doreen Lawrence and Jude Kelly. Oh. <laughs> this is the real secret of WOW. We do laugh a lot. Women, never put your tights in a washing machine. It will shatter the lycra. Simply, when you're washing your hair in the shower, just wash them there with shampoo and leave them over the radiator to dry. You're welcome. We've had amazing artists performing in WOW. Angelique Kijo, and Lennox. Sinead O'Connor. We've also had amazing world speakers, Malala, Christine Lagarde. That idea of a festival allows all ages, all backgrounds, all experiences to be reflected there. Being able to come into a room and see all the different views that women have. Wow festivals have a pattern in them and that's why they're scalable and transferable and that's why they're happening all over the world. I started the WOW Festival in 2010. There were so many young women coming to me and they told me all of these stories about things that they were still struggling with that were actually to do with gender inequality. I remember standing here six years ago, wondering if anybody would come. The first thing I wanted was to make it possible for girls and women and boys and men to talk about the idea of gender equality without feeling they had to have a particular kind of language or a particular kind of label. The energy of the place, the excitement, the enthusiasm, the fact that so many people honestly and openly want to have a dialogue. We're always trying to release the stories that are more troublesome and difficult and maybe neglected. My mother was very clear at the age of 16, you either come home and marry who we say, or from this day forward you are now dead. I've worked for women's rights over 30 years now, and so it's a great moment for me to make connections, really sort of tap in into the energy of people. In WOW festivals, there is no taboo, and that's changed so many people's understanding, because when you don't talk about these things, people feel, I can't talk about it, it's my shame, as opposed to, I will talk about it and offer it up, and then we can share that problem. The platform where we can just get our voices heard, like amongst ourselves and with other people. Let people know that the gender pay gap still exists, and that there's a lot of work to be done. Gender equality is the absolutely critical issue of the 21st century. Very simple. Women and men aren't equal. You'd agree with that, right? Okay. Moral position, and they should be. That's it. The audiences who come to the WOW Festival feel so much happier when it's intergenerational. They don't want to just feel it's about people like them. As a parent, I want to prepare my daughter to be, you know, someone who can feel not only part of the community, but excited about the role she can play in that community. I educate my son as much as I educate my daughter about it, and I think that's one of the main parts of uh, what we need to address in education. We have an under-10s feminist corner in all our WOW Festivals. People all over the world, whether they are men or women, can have a chance to do everything. We also to do special programs just for schools. The first exposure I had to WOW was Stand 13 and I went with my school and that was sort of where I found out about the festival and what it really does and it's ethos and I was so empowered by that. Really looking at how history is taught, how maths is taught and getting teachers and school children together to think how much of those stories are being told in a way that excludes girls and women. 
When we started WOW in 2010, we just did it in London. I didn't realize what an incredible place it would find for itself so quickly. People just said, this is exactly what we need. We want these conversations, we want these connections. And now it's in 17 countries. It's across five continents and it's growing all the time. And that's meant that over a million women so far have joined in the WOW community. That's the biggest movement of its kind in the world. The good thing about the other countries such as India and Pakistan is that people say it clearly, yes, women are not treated equally. It's clear to everyone, but here it's kept hidden. The wow in Catherine is extraordinary and the indigenous community there decided they themselves wanted to put on a wow as a way of talking about their lives as women and connecting up with the white Australian women who also lived in that vicinity. And they're now going into their fifth year. Wow! In Pakistan, tribal regions, you know, they follow their own rules, their own laws. When it comes to women, they're the most deprived uh, human being. Wow, Karachi. These 9,000 people talking about women's equality in a place that is really suffering from the backlash of fundamentalism. It's dangerous to be feminist in Pakistan. My family got death threats. There's several things that I think have to happen for WOW in the next few years. It's got to be about small towns, rural communities, places that find it more difficult for women's voices to emerge with vigour, with candour and with respect. The thing about WOW, Women of the World, is it's full of fun. It is just so empowering itself. It just makes you feel like you're somebody. It's a, it's a great festival. I think everyone should visit. I'm coming back I again. I have a new meaning for <laughs> I got all my sisters with me. I've seen very, very personally how WOW has made people feel braver, happier, more educated. Take this energy that this amazing festival generates and go and do something with it to keep making change. When women of the world unite, the world will be unrecognizable.